Yeah, for a long time the community here in Victor Harbour has been uh, referred to as an older population, uh, but we're seeing a lot of that change now. We're seeing a lot of younger families moving to the area and the demographics are changing significantly. Needs down here, there's often homelessness and family violence that are spoken about. We find that isolation and loneliness are big issues, uh, anxiety, depression, people are really struggling in those areas. Um, the basic costs of living, and uh, we're seeing people every day in those sort of situations. Um, my name's Alicia Betts and I'm from Victor Harbour. Financially, I was um, a bit under strain because um, we'd just purchased our house. My husband was really, really sick. It led to the point where I needed some help in food and groceries um, and I reached out and I was able to speak to Kylie and Nathan and just give me advice on where to go and who to turn to to help me out of that black hole that I was sinking in. They were just amazing. Like, it wasn't a problem. Like, I wasn't a burden to anybody. It made you feel welcome to come in and just say, look, I need help. And it doesn't matter where you're from, where you walk from, who you are, your nationality, anything. It doesn't make any difference you're still part of a community and they're willing to help that community. I, yeah, I can't praise them enough. Honestly, I can't. So we're funded to do emergency relief through our Doorways program, but we want to create safe spaces so people who are feeling lonely or isolated can come and just have someone to talk to. So the safe spaces for us look like the brunch that we run, the Soul Cafe, our play group, uh, these are all connection points that we have where people can just come in, meet with us, sit around, have a chat, have something to eat. We have uh, core members who sit in those spaces just to be able to talk with people, um, build relationships and uh, just show that they care. So my role is to basically accept people as they come in the door, have a short chat to them, build a relationship basically. Because some of these that come, they trust me with what is burdening them. And I can just say to them, well, this week I'll pray for you or I'll, you know, pray for you and, and just share with them. And that's what I feel God's called me to do. For me, I'm, I'm motivated to do what I do when I see transformation come in someone's life. As a young fella, I was off the rails a little bit and I walked away from the Lord and um, people invested in me and loved me and cared for me and that's what brought me back. I want to be able to do that for others. Uh, I've seen what transformation can be achieved in people's lives and uh, I, I love to see people just living life to the full uh, and experiencing life in its fullness. And so I'm motivated to share the love of Jesus because Jesus transformed my life and I want that for others uh, because Jesus loves us and he cares about us and that's the most important thing for people. I pray each time I open the doors and I pray that God will send those people who are hurting, who are in need to us here. I've just got to rely that God's going to bring them, that he's the one that's going to bring them here. He's the one that's going to change their lives and we're just here to do the handwork that he wants. Our vision for this place is to be a community hub. We want to see uh, more and more community getting to know us and building relationship with us but we also want to be taking people on that faith journey. We want people discovering who Jesus is and the part that he wants to play in their life. He wants relationship with them. And so for us as a core, we want to be a place where people feel welcomed every single day of the week. Uh, but we want to build healthy communities. We want to work for justice. We want to see lives saved. And uh, so our ultimate goal, every day of the week, people discovering who Jesus is.